Hi, this is Chris Blakesley with the Post Journal. I'm sitting here with Casey Colburn, resident artist at JCC and soon to have your own studio. Can you tell us about the studio, where it's going to be, and what your goals are for the year? Yeah, so I am through the CRNY, or the Creative Street Build New York uh, grant, and through that, you know, I've started to kind of think about what comes next, and I had the pleasure of running for office, and that meant door knocking and talking with a lot of my neighbors, and a lot of them said, you know, we would really like something like a cultural center or something here in, in Jamestown. And uh, so while I didn't get in office, I still believe in Jamestown. I still want to do for my neighbors, and I'm bringing that here. So um, it's going to start off little um, because I, that's how things start, you know, small steps. But it's going to be at the um, business center at 3rd and Cherry. And right now it's just a little studio space for me, um, and I'll bring in um, some students and stuff to mentor and kind of be able to teach beadwork and other traditional art forms like ribbon skirts and things like of that nature um, along with like charcoal drawings and everything else that I'm, I'm doing if they have an interest I'm sure I, I can give them a few pointers here and there for it and then um, I'm also opening up a gallery space in that same area um, so my studio is suite 3 the gallery will be suite 12 and that's where a lot of my art that I have kind of accumulated over the, the process of the grant um, will kind of go. So I now officially have a home for it. Um, and some of my exhibits include lithic scatter, which I, I don't know if you know what lithic scatter is, but it comes from a midden up in uh, Savannah, New York. Um, so my goal for this is to eventually put it back together. Um, so it's a bunch of pieces of like broken clay and you know, that's predominantly what this is, but lithic scatter can be a lot of different things um, and so yeah I want to put it back together and tell its story and um, kind of get into art restoration as well. You mentioned you're going to be mentoring students is there going to be a fee associated with this is this a part of a nonprofit and if so how many students do you plan on taking on? So it'll be probably like a one-on-one -on -one thing um, I'm gonna do you know I've got a, a few families already um, so I'll start with them and uh, because we don't here in the in the city, um, indigenous people, you know, we're not widely represented. Um, we don't have easy access to a lot of our culture. Um, so through the grant, I, my hope was to kind of bring all that in. And so I do already have a little bit of a network with a lot of the indigenous families here. And, um, you know, I want to start by teaching and providing it for them first. Uh, but obviously branching in, you know, I do go to schools and teach the corn hustle and the, the stories that go with that, the morals that go with that. And so it's, it will kind of lead out into the rest of the community. Um, at least that's the goal. Um, but certainly I'm going to start with the indigenous families first, just because it's part of their culture that they don't have access to. So